Hi everyone, I'm Vita Delisi, and in this video we're going to talk about the N11 versus the N12. So what's the difference? Oftentimes, realtors ask us what the difference is between the N11 and the N12. Well, this video is going to provide clarity. Let's talk about the N11. The N11 is a mutual agreement to end the tenancy, kind of like a mutual release where the parties are agreeing to dissolve the tenancy. The termination date on when that tenancy comes to an end is really what the parties agree to because it's a mutual agreement to end the tenancy. And with the N11, no compensation is required. Again, it's a mutual end to terminate the tenancy. The N12, however, is not an agreement. It is a notice to end the tenancy because the landlord or the new purchaser requires possession for their own use or the use of their family members, child, parent, or caregiver. The N12 has a 60-day notice requirement to end the tenancy. That is a requirement. Any, any date less than 60 days termination on the N12 is not enforceable and makes your notice invalid. One of the requirements of an N12 notice is compensation, among many requirements. However, compensation in accordance to section 48.1 or 49.1 of the Residential Tenancies Act, compensation equivalent to one month's rent must be paid to the tenant before the termination date in that N12 notice. If any of the requirements of the N12 notice are not fulfilled, that makes your notice invalid, void, and unenforceable. So the difference between an N11 and an N12 is that an N11 is a mutual agreement to end the tenancy, whereas the N12 is a notice, a landlord's notice to end the tenancy. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, call us first. Oh,